Hello, hello, hello. I realise it's been a while. It's uh, it's great to be back. Um, I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys. Life happened. Uh, Covid hit. Things hit the fan. I, I don't know. I got a new job. Did some travelling. Some crazy stuff happened. But we're back. And for this series, we're going to go to a little bit more, something more basic. Um, in terms of the programming complexity, we're going to be taking on the advent of code challenge. Um, I started out with 2015 because hopefully this will be successful and then I have way more content, eight years worth of content to produce. So I, I'm starting out optimistically hoping that this goes well. Uh, if not, we will do 2015 and we won't do it again, but we'll see. Um, so the goal of this is you get given some data, you have to perform some sort of arithmetic function on it, I guess you would call it. If simply put, you, you mess with the data somehow, you calculate something using the data, and you provide that as an input, or sorry, an output from your program, or an answer in here. And once you do that, happy days, you are, uh, you're good to go and you've passed the task you get two tasks per day so much like an advent calendar there's this 25 days and you get two tasks per day and the goal as you can see at the top is uh, we want 50 stars so a, a task equates to a star and uh, we want 50 stars so two tasks for every day by the 25th of December obviously we are I am I'm not blaming you guys. I am <laughs> massively behind on this, but we will see if we can catch up. Um, so, uh, the goal of this task, I'm going to start from halfway down this text. So, day one, not quite lisp. Uh, Sandra is trying to deliver presents in a large apartment building, but he can't find the right floor. The directions he got are a little confusing. He starts on the ground floor and then follows the instructions one character at a time. On opening parenthesis, means an opening parenthesis sorry means he should go up a floor and a closing parenthesis means he should go down one floor the apartment building is very tall and the basement is very deep he will never find the top or bottom floors uh, and then we have some examples of the results of character sets so if you have four characters and two of them are opening parenthesis and two of them are closing parenthesis then you get zero um if you have let's say how many characters are there? One, two, three, four, seven, I think. If you have seven and what would it be? Five of them are closing and two of them are opening, then you get a floor result of three. I'm sorry, I mean the other way around. Five opening, two closing results in a result of three. Um, the main takeaway from this, I'm not going to read it all out. The main takeaway from this is that all that matters is the number of parentheses. It doesn't matter how many characters there are. It doesn't matter the order that they come in. You just have to count the parentheses. And whether there's more opening or closing parentheses at the end determines your final value. So the equation is very simply opening parentheses. Let's call it x minus closing parentheses y. So x minus y. That's it. That's all we're trying to work out. Okay. So I would recommend, uh, especially if you're a newbie, Go have a crack at it by yourself. Um, you can write comments. You know, you can do it in pseudocode. You can use whatever programming language you want. I'm going to be using Java personally, um, but no, each to their own. Um, so, if we want a slightly easier starting point, the way that I'm looking at doing this is I'm going to take my input, so I've signed in and you click get your puzzle input, you do that and then it comes up with a separate tab at the top and you, I've just copied that value into a string which I'll show you at the moment. Um, the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to read in, the, I'm going to convert the data to a char array, so uh, an array of individual characters. I'm then going to do a simple for loop and I'm going to increment a counter if the character is opening and I'm going to decrement. I don't know if that's the right word or not, but that's what we're going to go with. Um, we're going to decrement the character if <laughs> that, that sounds wrong. Um, if the character is a closing parenthesis and overall we will be left with the total at the end. The character order doesn't matter. The size of the string doesn't matter should work in theory so yeah I will be back in a second to show you guys that 
And when I say back in a second, what I mean is, is I'm going to change my OBS settings and I'm going to point it to a different window. So it's literally been a second. Anyway, so um, I think, I don't know if this is the best way to do this. I might edit stuff out, but for the most part, we're going to try and do it raw because I want people to have a more genuine experience of programming. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I always found when I was watching YouTube videos, I didn't understand how people, how they just, they just knew what to write. You know, occasionally there were bugs, but for the most part, they just knew what to write. So I don't want to do that. If I don't know something, I want to be honest, I want to show you the research process. Uh, that might be boring <laughs> and that might not be very useful for people. So we will, we will tamper with it to see what works and what doesn't. Um, so I think the first thing that I want to do is I want to make a char array. We're going to call it data characters and then we're going to set it equal to data dot to char array. Can I not do that? Why can't I do that? Ah, okay. So this is a, a cute little quirk of Java. So I'm going to just, we're just going to completely ignore that bit. <laughs> uh, and we're just, we're just going to sidestep the issue that we can, we can fix it and I can go into like static and non-static contexts for sure but considering we're trying to keep things simple we're not going to do that also this is horrifically time consuming come on go 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 yeah i will say as well um so i need to stop hitting the mic um i don't know if it would be better if we put this in a file or not I actually, I'm not sure. Um, I was thinking about it in my head and I was like, why am I reading from a file when I can just put the data into a string? But now that I've sort of grasped the magnitude of how much data there is, I'm less confident on not using uh, a file, storing it in a file, not using some sort of file reader to import the data into the program. But we'll see how it goes. So, as I said, we're going to use a for loop. Um, we're going to do int i equals zero. Uh, i is less than data characters dot size. Uh, it's length for an array, I think. Is it happy with that? Uh, maybe it's a method. Is it a method? No. <laughs> oh dear. What's the problem? Um. Oh, okay. It's just... oh, sorry, I have new headphones and they don't like my head because I bought really cheap ones that suck. <laughs> anyway, um, this is unhappy because there's nothing in there. This was unhappy because it was just doing i equals zero and then it was just going round and round and round. Now that we're incrementing i, it will match that condition so the error warning's gone away. So as soon as I do this, Uh, go away. We no longer have an error message. Obviously, the go away is aimed at my compiler, not aimed at my fantastic viewers. Of course, please don't go away. If anything, bring more of yourselves. Um, so we've got the array. Um, we're gonna say if. Uh, hang on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say char uh, current char equals data characters and then i. So what we're doing, we've put all of our data all of this into an array of characters. So each one of these brackets is going to be stored as an item in our array. So char zero, for example, right? Our our base index, our zero index in our array um, is going to be this opening parenthesis. Char one is going to be the closing parenthesis. Char two, etc. We're going to isolate each char individually. 
okay with this so we set a single chart equal to this so when i is equal to seven it's let's say this character when i is equal to two is this character right and then we just pop that character into an individual chart so we can mess with it individually um, the last thing i'm going to do is current.char equals uh, opening parenthesis then we do Okay, I'm going to send int count equals zero. So this is our floor count. So int count plus plus. And then if it's not that, and since we only have two conditions, it can either be opening or closing. Therefore, we don't have to... Sorry, I've explained that really badly. What I mean is... Um, there are two conditions. It can either be opening or it can be closing. That is it, as far as I'm aware. I don't think there's any other characters. Um, yeah, we can check that. I'm being incredibly lazy. But we're just going to wing it, and if it fails, then we'll go back and check it. But just be mindful that we're not doing any sort of checking. We're just assuming that the data is correct. That's not bad practice, but it's... We have a very sweet little 14 line program that I'm very happy about right now. So <laughs> we're going to keep it simple. Um, we have uh, this condition. So if our current character is equal to opening, since it can either be opening or closing, then we add one. Since it can only be opening or closing, the only other, uh, the only other condition, our else condition, is that it's a negative which means we could do minus minus. So there's there's no need to add like an if else, there's no need for any further conditions because there can only be two conditions. It's either open or close and that's it. Finally, we are going to output our account and I am going to run this file. It's gonna crash and I'm gonna look like an idiot. Ooh, 280, okay, cool. I dodged looking like an idiot, always a plus. Um, I'm going to switch my screens, we're going to put that input in, and hopefully, not that I don't love you guys, but hopefully that will be the end of the video. Right, moment of truth, 280, submit, there we go, fantastic. Um, I might record this now, or I might not, so you'll either see me input this again in the next video so i'm just going to make a quick note of i'm going to note down that answer 280 um and either you'll see me put it in, in the next video or you won't i'm rambling basically what i'm trying to say is uh, that is the end of the video thank you very much for watching please do uh like comment and subscribe and um i've left a link for well maybe not in this video but in the future there will be a link to one of the textbooks that I used when I first started programming. So if people want extra content, if people prefer it in a book form rather than a video form, I will provide that as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching.